Thank you for the music I found, for how the sun looks in the morning. Thank you for pushing my boundaries and thank you for spring onions and garlic. Thank you for time on my own. Thank you for laughing. Thank you for grass which gives the flowers a home. I want to thank you for your fresh air, sex, holding hands and poems. Thank you for giving me more time, new beginnings and old friends. Thank you for cold hands and his warm skin. Thank you for the lyricless rhythms that almost make me cry. Thank you for smiling old ladies and kids on bikes. Thank you for the stars, the rain and the moon. Thank you for the books and the book covers. Thank you for showing me that life restarts every morning and that my love grows every night. I want to thank, I want to thank you for the paint, the pasta, the wool and the cats. The clothes that hug me and the shoes that carry me. Thank you for being alive. Sometimes I get a bit too hyper and overstimulating. I freak myself out a little bit because I, especially with Grace, I think I definitely unmask the most when I'm with her more than anyone else because I'm just my most comfortable with her. And that can lead to me relaxing so much that I get so riled up and I freak myself out a little bit because I get so intense and in her words um I get a bit violent sometimes when I'm trying to show my um when I'm trying to show like my love and my good mood I tend to bite her or pinch and grip and stuff along those lines um 
and like I was on such a buzz I think also a part of it is because I deleted TikTok months ago at this point and I'm so glad and it's so good and I feel so much more zen and my attention span isn't as bad anymore but every like three weeks or something I'll like go down a bit of reels uh rabbit hole even though I so always took the piss out of people who watched reels because I was like you're just the people that won't watch TikTok but you're watching reels and it's just like TikTok three months ago you know but it's actually not it's actually very funny and it's more like vine like the videos are even shorter so they're worse for your attention span and they're just way more chaotic and unhinged like people falling and uh stuff but like really makes me laugh like very my my type of sense of humor whereas on tiktok i could be going through videos and videos of people being like what i eat in a day or like like just boring you know and like maybe i'll come across one video that makes me laugh but whatever so at least it feels fulfilling because i'm laughing but anyway then when i stopped watching it for like an hour and grace was in my room chilling I was just getting really, really riled up and like since my attention span had been so like quick watching all these videos, I was really, really hyped and riled up and I still kind of am and like I said, I get so comfortable with it that sometimes it can be a bit too much and it overwhelms her um, and yeah, now I feel like I really need to relax and um. I need to relax and like not freak myself out right now. Also last night, I was having the best day ever. I was so peaceful. And like after being anxious for a few days, it finally felt like a little bit more normal. And I felt really positive and happy. And I was spending loads of time outdoors. I was being really productive and just had a really nice day. And me and Jack went for drinks and we had the best time ever. It's just on such a buzz, so in love, so good. And then when we got the bus back to mine, I stepped off the bus and started hysterically crying, like sobbing and sobbing and sobbing and crying, hyperventilating and all that stuff, like in his arms weeping. Um, to the point where we got home, everyone in my house was in bed asleep, but my mom ran down the stairs and came in and was like, what happened? Because she could hear me crying from upstairs and thought we like broke up and I came home alone or something, I don't know. Um... And I actually don't know what happened. Like, I, I I, don't know why that happened. But it went on for ages. I really like my hair today. I'm finally, 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 I don't know the bald spot still. I'm finally at a stage where I'm actually really content with my hair. I love my little platties and I like how long my fringe is. Because obviously, usually I'm more of a micro fringe kind of girl. But that's a very different vibe. It, it gives off, It like, it, it's a cool vibe. But I think this hair is giving very much like the Beatles almost, which I loved. It was so cute. It's like a long tulle skirt with a little shirt moment. And yeah, I need to decompress. This would be the time that I would get in my hammock with my weighted blanket and swing for a while but i don't know either of those things right now i was on that big swing like you know that big round swing they have in playgrounds but it was actually like outside of the playground i was in that for like more than 30 minutes yesterday just swinging back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and it's actually really good for autism like that's why people recommend hammocks and stuff because something about it is very soothing for when you're overstimulated so I really think if I had a swing right now, maybe I could just mimic it. And scene. Also, look at that. That, look at that. Oh my God. Yeah, I know, that's disgusting. I don't know what to do about it. Like, I clean this a lot, and it's still a huge bulge. And I didn't realize how much you could see it until I went. Wow.